What is going on YouTube? Jivy World here. Hope everyone's having a great day today. We are back with MLB 17. Monster season is amongst us. And we're doing stuff a little bit different this time. As you can see, this is the lineup that we are going with. It looks different than what I'm used to as I don't think any of these players are in my regular lineup except for Lou Brock. But anyways, you can probably tell by the thumbnail and title, we are doing the fastest player squad available and we are going to rock with this in our first game. We're going to be doing things along the way this way as well for the rest of the season pretty much. Uh, I also want to do like all, all team builds, like pretty much current day Yankees versus, you know, uh, regular season uh, we'll do more all-time squad builds once there's more players available and once I have more players. But we're just going to do different things and try different challenges to see if we can win. As you can see, pretty much every player position 2 through 9, 1 through 8 in the batting order is the fastest player. Now, I didn't do anything special for the rotation. I got Lance McCullers in there because he's new and I've yet to pitch with him. I've got Jim Palmer in there because I've only played one game. It was the game that got me into World Series. Uh, I think he pitched 5 innings, gave up a couple runs. And then I have Phil Hughes, uh, Francisco Liriano, and Doug Fister in there because they're impact veterans and we're grinding a little bit. Bullpen and bench, I left them the same because they don't really matter. But everyone in this lineup is the fastest player at their position except for one person. And he just so happens to be the person where the reason we built this squad. And it's Tony Gwynn, the only right fielder that is faster than All-Star 96 Tony Gwynn who has 88 speed and 86 stealing, is 86 overall breakout, 1984 Tony Gwynn with 90 speed and 60 stealing. So other than that, our squad is the fastest player available. I think this is the lineup I'm going to go with, and we're rocking with it. Now guys, before I even jump into this game, pretty much my team is built around speed. I don't really have any power guys, which is why Tony Gwynn is batting third. But if you have any other ideas that you guys want me to try, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. And even before we jump in, I want to give a huge shout out to Hairline Gamer for being a part of the notification squad. Uh, he did exactly what he needed to do. He took a screenshot of the video, dropped the thumbs up, he subscribed to the channel, and he's got his notification bell on, and he sent me a tweet on Twitter. You can do that, or you can send it to me on Instagram, at JimmyWorld, tag me in a photo, and I will try to shout you guys out in the video. Pretty much the sooner you are in uh, sending me this image, basically the lower the thumbs up, that'll be pretty much who I'm selecting and who I'm going with. Uh, but this time, this is pretty much right when I had tweeted this out or posted it in picture on Instagram saying I was doing this. And he was one of the first people to send it to me. So shout out to the Hairline Gamer. That's how we're doing shout outs from now on. Here's the lineup we're coming up again. Astoria Owls. That's it. That's in New York. Astoria Park, I believe. Lance McCullers on the mound versus Francisco Liriano. Uh, D Blank Cheese, Charlie Blackman, Aaron Judge, Giancarlo Stanton, Harmon Killebrew. Killebrew. Zimmerman, Gary Sanchez, and Xander Bogart. So we've got an interesting matchup. He's got no diamonds. I've got three, but I've got a lot of silver. He's got a really, really balanced, good team. So let's see if the fastest squad can do some damage. And he's got a pretty decent record. It's not going to be easy. All right, here we go. Lou Brock leading it off. I've pretty much really been enjoying this Lou Brock card, except we're grounding out on the first pitch. He's got some pretty good pop versus righties, but that is not a good start. And I think this may be one of my first at-bats with Luis Aparicio. As we're going to take a ball off the plate. So we got a 2-2 count to Luis Aparicio, a guy who we don't want to pop out with. As he doesn't have the most power, but he's got good speed. And quickly, we've got two players retired. All right, but we got the main man, the main event, Tony Gwynn in his first at-bat for the team. I know a lot of people unlocked him. And we're going to pop out on the first pitch. I think I need to focus a little bit because that pitch was me. All right, creative player leading it off, Bobo Dixie. My, my, my. The name's in this game. But that's going to be an easy play to Aparicio up the middle, and he's going to make a nice play. I like him defensively. Love the speed he's got. But this man just has no power. Up next, we got Charlie Blackman, and we know what kind of threat this card can be. Back up the middle to Aparicio. Same animation and a bang-bang play, and we got two outs already. All right, we got to be very, very good versus Aaron Judge. Any mistake here can be crucial. Good force him up, but an even better take from my opponent. I do apologize for my voice sounding pretty raspy. As we're getting a third straight ground ball to Aparicio, I'm still trying to get over this sore throat. Let's get back on the sticks. 
Pause. You know the lineup is kind of funky when you got D Gordon batting fifth. And there it is. I think that is going to be our first base hit. And wouldn't you know it, fastest squad first base hit is an infield hit. So with a runner on, it makes no sense not to put this guy in motion. We are stealing. There's a slide step, and there's no chance you are throwing us out regardless. All right, we got it quickly in an 0-2 count with Billy Hamilton, and that pitch was up, and that is not going to drop, and the inning is over. I'm going to be honest. I have no clue why he went. I, I did not even mean to send him. I only swung at that because I had sent the runner. And we are playing right on the line, and that is a ball normally right at the third baseman, and it's a base hit because we were hugging the line. With Stanton up. No way. No way. We missed our spot there. We deserve to give up a home run. Just once, I'd, I'd like people to hit home runs on balls in which they weren't just late. So we are quickly in a little bit of trouble. Already giving up two runs. And the onslaught continues with hits like that. I'm not sure if we've got a chance. All right, Bogarts, it would be lovely if you ground it into a double play. Late on that pitch. Not sure if we can get behind that ball. Runner is tagging, and he's going to be safe at third. And we're not looking good right now. All right, pitcher is up. Lance McCullers. Doesn't look like he's trying anything funky. Let's see if we can get the pitcher to ground into a double play right here. All right, Lance McCullers. Runner's on the corner. We are trying to get him. To ground into a double play, and he's going to line into one, and we're only going to give up two runs. All right, Lou Brock back up in the third with two outs. Would not be a bad time for a home run. Ball is hit to right field. Stanton going back on the track, and it's going to bang off the wall, and it's going to be a triple. We just missed a home run. All right, Luis, I need you to bring this run in. E9. E9 given on that ball. I'm not quite sure how that's an E9. We got Luis Aparicio in a hitter's count. And that ball is going to be ripped down the line to left field. And we are going to have another runner in scoring position with two outs. Absolutely great. We got our first run of the game. And Tony Gwynn with a chance to bring in the tying run. Ball is in and it is ripped. I think I'm going to send him 98 speed. And we are going to trade places dump single with an advancement for Tony Gwynn. And this game is tied. He keeps going with the fastball in because he was beating me earlier. But that's, that's not good enough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can actually hit a little bit. And we got another double. Three extra base hits in a row on pitches inside. And I think he needs a new strategy. Two outs and we take the lead. That's absolutely amazing. Bogart's got to be quick, and the throw pulls him off the line. That's what speed does for you, ladies and gentlemen. Another base hit in the gap. I think we are going to be scoring yet another runner. And that is another extra base hit. And the onslaught continues with this team. Pitch up and in, and we did a good job. With the just late. So I do guess I do get lucky sometimes. But that base that is not going to be a hit from Billy Hamilton. And the inning is over. Five runs in one inning. And all from speedy guys. You can't ask for anything better than that. Two and no count to his creative player. May have to pitch a little bit backwards here. And he got that change up. And he absolutely crushed it. I don't think Liriano is going to last long in this game at all. Here we go, Liriano. Do not give up this lead. And we're going to get him to pop out to center field. Billy Hamilton is there. And we're going to escape danger. All right, the only thing that helps us when bringing in a lefty versus Tony Gwynn, Jackie Robinson pretty much demolishes left-handed pitching. But there it is. Base hit up the middle into center field. And we got a single with one out from Jackie Robinson. Eduardo Nunez with two outs. Already has a double in the game. Let's see if we can replicate that. As we put the hit and run on. And it's just going to be a fly out to center field. Blackman is there. And nothing comes of this inning. 
All right, so we got a new arm in the game, John Axford versus Harmon. Let's see if we can get this started. Had a three pitch inning last inning. Not going to do that two times in a row, but a very good spot at 95 from John Axford. That is not where I wanted that fastball at all. I'm going to think, I think so far I do not like this John Axford. I missed my spot a lot with that card. That ball is driven deep to right field. Stanton taking his time. That's a home run. Let's go. Put him up. Dale Murphy hits an absolute bomb to right field. And I did not expect that at all. And that ball is ripped to the second baseman by Aaron Judge. But it is the first out of the eighth inning. We need five more outs. And that's a great start. Just late ball was ripped. And that's another ball ripped. We're going to feather the stick here. Two quick outs. Tony Gwynn is out there in the outfield. You can be rest assured that that's going to be an easy out. This guy is on every pitch I throw pretty much. But we're going to sneak that fastball by him there. And now we try to put him away. I'm going with the cutter up and away. You can be rest assured. That and he's going to hit a fly ball to deep center field. But it is a you warning can be track shot and Billy Hamilton easy out. drops the ball. Billy Hamilton drops the ball. Five fielding, 86 arm, 98 reaction, 99 speed, settled right under the ball. And Billy Hamilton just dropped the ball to put the tying run on base for absolutely no reason. Still, we got an 0-2 count to Zimmerman going to the slur three times in a row. Right left field. Jackie Robinson is there. We're going to get out of the inning. But man, that is so obnoxious about this game. They just have to throw an error somewhere in the game. And we got Tony Gwynn up with two outs. Let's see if we can pad on. One more insurance run. As we rip that ball up the middle, but right at the second baseman. And his creative players there for the final out. But we're going into the bottom of the ninth with only a two-run lead. All right, Dylan Batances is still in there versus Gary. Gary, another guy who hits right-handed pitching way better than lefty. And he just tucks that ball right over the right field here in Yankee Stadium. Pitch off the plate. That's going to be it. And on 0-2, we're going up in the zone. He's going up the ladder. We got Jackie Robinson there, and that is going to do it. All right, so this is the ball that Lou Brock hit that was called an error. Deflected hit off the wall. That's why they gave him an error. That is why this game counted that as an error. That right there, which would have been a base hit either way. And I got a hit taken away from me, a double at least, because of that. But overall, not a bad game for the fastest squad overall. We got Brock with one for five. Gwyn only went one for five. Aparicio two for five. One of them being an infield hit. D. Gordon had an infield hit. Robinson had a couple hits. And Murphy hit the only bomb for us in the game. But still a GG to my opponent. Shout out to you. Well played. We just had one breakout inning. And usually the team that scores the most in one inning is the team that wins the game. So a huge shout out to my opponent. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up. If you got any ideas on any other squad builders you want to see, let me know down in the comment section below. I love each and every one of you. I appreciate you guys. And that's pretty much it. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.